We want to look at another example of drawing shear bending moment diagrams. Here we have a cantilever beam which is uh, fixed at A, uh, built in, and uh, we have two loads, a 6 kN concentrated load and a uniform distributed load with a magnitude of 8 kN per meter. Uh, for any time you're trying to draw a shear bending moment diagram, first thing you have to do is to draw uh, a free body diagram and determine the uh, reactions that are developed at the support. So here we have a cantilever beam or a fixed uh, support at A. If we have a fixed support, uh, normally we will get three components of reaction, one in X, one in Y, and one moment reaction. But since we don't have any forces acting in the X direction, there is no reaction developed in the X. So we just have a reaction in the Y, I'm going to call it AY, and a moment reaction. So we can go ahead and figure out uh, these reactions. So I'm just going to apply the equilibrium equation. Sum of the forces in Y equals zero. We'll pick upward as positive direction. So as you could see, we have AY. We have the six kilonewton going down and then in order to be able to figure out what's the contribution of this distributed load, we have to figure out the area of this load, which is an eight by one and a half area of this rate angle. That's 12 kilonewton. And we have to put that load, concentrated load, right in the middle or centroid of that shape, which is a rectangle. So we have a 12 going down. So AY simply becomes 18 kilonewtons. Okay. Then we go ahead and figure out the moment reaction uh, by taking moment about A, taking counterclockwise to be positive. So uh, start with the unknown moment reaction M. The moment of 6 is going to be 6 times 3, as you could see, going negative clockwise. And then 12 also going negative times 0.75 because you have to put it right in the middle of 1.5. So this becomes... The moment reaction becomes 27 kilonewton meters. So now that we found these um, reactions, let me go ahead and put their values here. So let me move or erase this, and I'll put the value of the reaction, force reaction of 18, and the moment reaction of 27. And let me go ahead and erase, mm, so I have enough room so I can do more work here for you. So that's the first thing we have to do always, figure out the reactions. Okay, now we are ready to draw the shear bending moment diagram. We also have to remove these 12 kilonewtons uh, here, so I'm going to erase that. We'll just change that distributed load to a concentrated load for the sake of finding the reaction, external reaction. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw a line right below this. And let me put a gap here. Um, so one is going to be our uh, shear diagram. I'm going to draw that. Shear versus X. And one is going to be our moment diagram. Moment versus X. Okay, uh, let me move this 18 up here for you so I have more room. There we go. That's the 18 from the... Um, force reaction there okay so now with shear diagram uh, you know that um, if you have a concentrated load we just follow the direction of that load so we have an 18 so we go up and we reach 18 and how do we handle the uh, the distributed load basically you take the current value of the shear and since shear, net shear is equal to negative of the area under the distributed load you calculate this area that area, if you recall, it was 12. We just used that. Uh, so 12, just subtract 12 from 18, the current value of the shear, and that will put you at 6. So now the next value of the shear is going to be 6. So how do you connect these two? You have to connect them via a linear relation. So let me put back the 6 here. Okay, and then from here to here, from end of the distributed load to the other end, the moment uh, the shear doesn't change, so it remains a constant 6. Okay, next we want to draw the moment diagram. And 
in order to do that since we know the the area under the shear is equal to net moment we go ahead and we calculate the area of each uh, segment so we have a trapezoid here and if you calculate this area that area happens to be 18 actually you could break it into a rectangle and a triangle and this area is a 6 by 1.5 that's just a rectangle that area becomes 9 now you have to understand that we cannot start at zero moment actually our moment is this 27 and that's actually a negative moment negative 27 so our moment at that support is negative 27 so we add 18 to it so minus 27 plus 18 you add that area to it that should put you at minus 9 so you drop to or you go to minus 9 actually how do we connect minus 27 to minus 9 since moment is the integral of the shear that's going to be a curve first order shear second order moment and it's going to be a concave down type of curve since the slope of that shear is negative it's going from 18 to 6 drops to from 18 to 6 and then minus 9 plus 9 the area of the rectangle will put you at 0 and the moment should be 0 right there so we get to 0 and how do we connect connect via straight line because our shear is constant and the integral of a constant is linear so here the critical moment is 27 kilonewton meters and the maximum shear load as you could see in the diagram is 18 so maximum moment is 27 absolute maximum moment is 27 kilonewton meters and maximum shear absolute maximum shear is 18 and as I said before these values are used in uh, calculating bending stress maximum bending stress uh, bending, bending stress and maximum transfers shear stress